In this video, I'll show you three things that you absolutely need to do if you're going to be using TWS to trade the stock market. But before getting to the video, as usual, all the tools I use day trade are linked in the description. So don't forget to check them out and let's get right in. So the first thing we're going to do is save the chart template. You want to be doing this because if you mess around with your settings and you don't know what you changed or you just don't like what you did, at least you have something to go back and it's going to be very quick and it's going to save you a big headache. To do this, just click on file, save chart template as, and after that, just type name that you want so we'll put default and we're going to do save so at least we have a backup now so the next thing you want to be doing is go into edit and what we're going to be removing is this little thing over here so to do this just click chart parameter and you're going to remove the legend so at least now we have a cleaner chart and you have this little thing that's just annoying on your chart the following thing just go over here go into setting and we're going to change a couple of things so when you look at tws it's annoying to have these wigs that are super super light because what's going to happen is when you zoom out, you look at like a two minute chart, you're gonna see that it's quite annoying to have all these big white thing over here, which are the wick. So to change it, go back to setting and you're gonna go into your color zone. And over here, if you look, there's no place that's gonna say wick. So what you wanna be doing is go into line one and this is what it's gonna be. So instead of putting it to white, we'll put it something like a darker gray and it's gonna look a little bit better. So we'll just change this. And at least you guys see it looks cleaner. So the last thing we're going to see for this video is how to customize this little thing thing over here which is normally going to be dollar change dollar percentage change last price and so on and so forth these are some value that i like to put over here so how to access this just go over here go configure code zone what you will do is just add the prior close change last you can actually remove it because you see the last price over here so just click remove and this is going to be good to go so right now you have the change in terms of percentage and also what you're going to see is the prior close the reason why you want to see the prior close because sometimes a good setup is a red to green or a green to red type of setup so that's going to be it for this video thanks for watching peace